Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at Black Label Trading Company, James Brown and the gang. And a cigar that was previously only released to people that visited the factory. But now it's available to everyone. The Memento Mori. This is the Lonsdale, six and a half by 46. Finished in a little pigtail cap. And there is the density. As you can see, it's sort of a closed foot, partially closed. Now, Memento Mori means live for today. Life isn't forever. You shall become dust again, etc., etc. Sort of a nice reminder to... Uh, don't necessarily put off things. Have fun today. And we're going to have fun with this cigar. Now, a little bit about the cigar. Comes in three sizes. A Robusto, a Corona, and a Lonsdale, which I chose the Lonsdale. Six and a half by 46. I just had a feeling. I've also had the Robusto, and I'll comment on it later. But this cigar is a uh, made with a P Pennsylvania Broadleaf wrapper. Uh, Ecuadorian Habano binder and Nicaraguan filler. It has a nice feel in the hand. I've had several of these and I'm hoping it pans out the way the others did, but let's get right to it and find out the new available wide worldwide. Now memento Mori Lonsdale. Well, let's cut the little pigtail off here. Just a little bit. That's a little bit. We've got a pretty good draw, too. Actually, it's very good. You know, good. like a little dark chocolate just hints of citrus and peach and citrus peel following that nut there's a little nutmeg in the mix give it a little dry nutmeg i would call it and espresso there is some brown sugar following the uh or attached following the citrus notes that i gave you the citrus peach uh citrus peel there's some brown sugar there but there's like a dark chocolate up front and it's not a lot of it because there is a lot 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 of a of an espresso um black pepper at eight to eight and a half it's incredible amount of black pepper and this type of black pepper where I've described the other is sort of scratchy. This is sort of a dry uh, black pepper, but it's quite intense. So that's how you start. As expected, I hope you expected it to be dark noted, but there's a lot of sweetness there. And uh, uh, it's pretty darn good. So let's see what we have by the first third. third and boy have we transitioned now I have raisin caramel light strip of citrus the raisin and the caramel has a richness to it too some cinnamon and black coffee it's not so much espresso anymore it's black coffee now it's a big difference very nice mix 
very, I would call it full bodied right now. I'd call it full bodied at light up, but. The finish is raisin and black coffee. Very good lingering black pepper. This is uh, really transitioned into a very tasty cigar. Think about those notes I gave, just gave you in your mind. Very powerful, very dark, very sweet. The first third I'd rate at 95. It's way good. But can't hold it. Let's see what we have at the second third. End of the second third. And a little more transitioning. Still have the raisin, it's a little light. Nougat with the caramel. Light underlying citrus. A lot of brown sugar, which could be the nougat and the caramel, but I'm getting a very distinctive sweetness and a lot of it of brown sugar. And black coffee, which is trying to work its way back to espresso. Black pepper is still A+. Plus. Okay? Full bodied as can be. Please have something on your stomach when you smoke this cigar. Or you'll be not feeling so good. Finishes nougat and raisin. With an incredible amount of lingering black pepper. This is a, again, not to reiterate, but I will, very powerful, very dark, very sweet cigar. I will hold 95. There's no earthly reason to change it. So the question of can it hold it? Well, it has to this point. We've got one third left. Let's see. Down to the end. So let's wrap it up. The transitioning continued in a lighter way. The citrus notes dropped off. The raisin is very prominent. The nougat, light caramel, a lot of brown sugar, and a lot of black coffee. Very full bodied. The finish is toffee and raisin with a lot of lingering black pepper. This cigar held its ground. I'm holding 95 for the final third. This is a very good cigar. Very powerful, dark and sweet. Not much else you can say. Pepper is amazing. Everything about it just screams stand out. Overall score is 95. No brainer. This is a very good cigar that is very full body that you need to have something on your stomach. So do that. Keep that in mind. But it is very good, folks. James has another good one here. He rarely disappoints. So there you have it. The now available everywhere. Memento Mori Lonsdale 95. And if you're curious, I said I would tell you about the Robusto. It is good, but it's a little more dark noted because it's a little fatter. I believe the uh, increased filler uh, made it a little more coffee ish, but it's still very good. 
it would be just a tick or so below this. This is just outstanding. So there you have it, 95.